up YouTube? This is the man 7431 coming back again with another video. And today I just want to do this quick video to update you guys on the mini wireless Bluetooth gamepad. Now, if you checked out the last video, I was in the um, Xfinity TV Go app and I was telling you guys that this little gamepad. Um, if you go into mouse mode, the only thing you can do is just use this as a cursor and you had to use your remote control to be able to navigate up and down um, the videos or TV shows to be able to select what you want to watch. Well, obviously, I didn't play around with this mini controller for that long and I realized that if I put it in game mode, I can scroll up and down the Xfinity TV Go app while it's set in game mode. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. Did not realize that something was telling me to go back and try this. And I'm kind of glad I did. So now you guys can see that it actually works. So if you find whatever video you want to look at, all you have to do is flip the controller. Well, I know you guys aren't going to be able to see this, but if you just switch it back over to key mode, then you just take it down to whatever show or whatever TV show you want to look at. Let me put it back on here. So let's say I wanted to watch this. And then just hit the start button. All right. And then you just bring the cursor down to the play. Hit the start again, and it's going to automatically load it up. Okay. Just wanted to add that in there, guys. Um, Mentos now mints is new. I totally it's forgot. Smash. Mentos now mints the smooth way to freshness. All right, guys. So I just wanted to go ahead and add that in there. Um, something was telling me to go back to that game pad and just play around with it a little bit more. I'm really, really glad that um, I came back to the game pad and was able to go back into Xfinity TV Go. So yes, you can use this mini wireless Bluetooth game pad to navigate through Xfinity TV Go. No problems at all. You guys just seen it for yourself. If you want to get one of these, I'll have it in the description box down below. Very, very cool little small size game pad. You can put this on your keychain and just cut on out with it. Uh, take it over to a buddy's house, pair it to your phone, tablet, whatever. Very, very nice. Alright guys, so now we're going to go ahead and see if we can just use this mini wireless Bluetooth gamepad to navigate through our web browser as far as going up and down the screen, typing in information and going to different websites. All right. So let's do it. All right. So right now I have it set to um, gamepad. I'm going to switch that back over to the key mode and I'm going to hit the start button and then I'm going to hit the X and I'm going to hit the iOS button together and that brought up the uh, Chrome web browser settings um, another thing you don't need the remote control to highlight anything guys all you have to do 
is just highlight it with the game pad and then hit the uh, start button. And then we're going to highlight one of these YouTubes and hit the start button again. All right. Now, another thing I told you guys in that last video, too. Remember, I told you you had to have the remote to be able to um, type in the letters and stuff like that. Well, if you hit the start button, let's see, I got the F highlighted. It's not doing anything. Now, one of the things that I didn't realize that I can do and it would actually still function in the web browser was that I could just switch this over to game mode and now I can actually navigate through the um, keyboard. So let me go ahead and type in my YouTube page. See, I didn't know all this the first time, but now I know. So now you guys can see for yourself that you can just use this one game pad to navigate through everything. Okay. So if I just switch this back to key mode and I go ahead and click on this video here. Hey, what's up YouTube? This is the bad seven We're good to go. Video. And, today I'm going and I'm to doing all, all this with this video application. remote here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you how much the service costs and what three free features that you get with this service. First of all, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button. Here. Now, I know you're thinking, what does $80 a year include? Well, $80. All right, guys. So you just seen for yourself. And this is, again, an update video because the video I just made earlier and I just uploaded to YouTube show that you can only use this as a cursor on the web browser and on Xfinity Go. I was totally wrong. Something told me to get back up, play around with this mini wireless Bluetooth gamepad and see what else I can do with this. And I'm kind of glad that I did get back up so I can play around with this so I can show you guys that this is pretty much all you need for your gaming, your web browsing and navigating through Xfinity TV Go. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Tell me what you think about this video. Tell me what you think about this controller. If you have one of these controllers, comment down below and tell me what you think about it. Um, share this video with your friends and family. And as always, subscribe to this channel. Again, this is the man 7431 getting ready to sign out and I'll catch you guys on the next one.